will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. Ask the guy next to you, are you foolish or wise? Now this is not individual, I mean, this is speaking about us. Say to the guy next to you, come on, make up your mind. We will be wise. Stop speaking to yourself about yourself as an individual. You belong to the church of Jesus. Hallelujah. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lambs, but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lambs. The bridegroom was a long time in coming. Say, a long time in coming. Say, a long time in coming. Amen. The same when you come with your promises. A long time in coming. And they all became drowsy and fell asleep. Are you falling asleep while waiting on the Lord's promise? Huh? The Bible says they all fell asleep. Say to the guy next to you, hey, wake up. In Jesus' name. I mean, come to your senses and stop sinning. I mean. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out. Who expect him at midnight? You know, a thief. He comes like a thief. When Jesus comes with your promise, he comes like a thief at midnight. No one knows when a thief comes. Do you know? So the same Jesus come like a thief. He's not a thief. He comes like a thief. At midnight. When no one expects him. Even when he comes to you with your promise. Even if he comes to take you home. It's a time where you will not expect it. So be ready all the time. I mean who will tell if he will be here tomorrow? Who can tell? You say I'm young. I'm fit. It's the fittest guys that die. You know. So by the way. You know that? I'm young. I'm fit. I'm strong. Your time is your time. He come like a thief in the night. Are you ready to meet your Lord now? Tonight. You be ready in Jesus' name. After this service, you will be ready. In the name of Jesus. Ask the guy next to you, do you walk in your first love? Remember the other sermon? When was it? Wednesday or what? Yeah, first love? Come here quickly, you two, and you please. Jesus. Hallelujah. The bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. They, the, then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lambs are going out. No, they replied. There may, be not, there may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourself. Say to the person next to you, we as a body, we need to buy our own oil from the Lord. In Jesus. It's not speaking to you as an individual, it's speaking to us as a body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Say our own oil in the name of Jesus. Give your Lord a hand, please. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now listen to this one. 
No, they replied. There may not be enough for both of us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourself. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, say to the guy, you should have had oil. Now, oil is bought, so by the way, how do you buy oil? Is it not by grace, pastor? How do you buy oil? You buy it with your life. It's the only way you buy oil, with your life. You lay down your life, and instead, you receive his oil. Anyone who wants to keep his life will lose his life. But everyone who loses his life for my sake, he will keep his life. How, what does the oil cost you? Your whole life. Go to those who sell oil. Who sell oil? Oh, I sell oil. You want to buy oil? Come and, come and buy. Let us give your life to Jesus. Completely, totally, you'll get your oil. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But while they were on their way to the oil, to buy oil, the bride, bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the other five also came. Sir, sir, they said, open, 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 knock, 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 open, open, knock, 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 knock. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Ooh. He said to five of the virgins, half of the virgins, I do not know you. Zoo. What is this wedding feast? When there's coming a harvest, like you've never seen on the face of the earth. Those who are ready when the Lord come to take, bring in the harvest, they're going to be involved in the harvest. Those who... Who need to go and buy oil now when the harvest is, is busy coming in. They will not take part in the harvest. If you do not buy your oil, you will not take part in the harvest. You need to buy your oil now. When the harvest come, you'll be part of that. Amen. When you need to go and buy oil, you say, I do not know you. Stand to one side now. You're not part of the wedding celebration. Hallelujah. This scripture does not speak about heaven and hell. It means you will not be involved in the wedding banquet, meaning the biggest harvest that ever came in with the greatest power and anointing that you've ever seen on the face of the earth. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot tell you more. You're not going to take more. Are you ready? Are you busy buying oil? Or is there some areas in your life you want to keep for yourself? Selfish ambition. Pray, Lord Jesus, I lay down my life, all of my lifetime, belong to you in the name of Jesus. I need to